Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, welcome to the new Orbital Vaping Headquarters Lab. You know, I'm Juicy Jones, and I'm here today to talk to you about batteries. Specifically, batteries from home tech, the home work and home life batteries. Welcome back. Okay, the home tech, home life and homework batteries. I got these batteries from thecloudyvapor.com, and you guys go check them out. They cost, I think, $19.30 something cents for the home work battery, $21.20 something cents, I believe, for the home life battery. And I'll put the URL down here and flash it on there so you guys can see. Um, so these batteries were actually Home Tech's first project. A little known fact, I got to speak with Ben Romalo, the director of Home Tech, and he told me that he and his partner, when they started the company, actually had this in mind from the very beginning. And they started work on these at the same time they started work on other things, even a little earlier, actually. So the cool thing about this is that what they did was they didn't just go and pick lots of good batteries. And I mean, by lots, I mean sets of batteries made by the manufacturers and pick out of them and pick good ones. They didn't just test batteries and cherry pick the ones they want and rewrap them. What they did was they made a relationship with LG and then LG helped introduce them to the people at Indonesia Chemistry because they had some technical concerns. And then those guys went and worked with Indonesia Chemistry for nine or 10 months, the better part of a year, to get these right. There's two batteries in this line. One battery is for regulated mods and one battery is for mech mods. The regulated battery is called the Home Life battery and this is a 3030 3077 mod battery rated to 36.3 amps. And the second one is the Home Work battery which is 40.6 amps pulse or peak and 2531 ma. Remember that both of these batteries, the Homework and the Home Life battery, are both labeled with the peak or pulse rating, and they are both actually 20 amps continuous current rating, and uh, that's measured. I believe they're, they say 20.6, but it's 20 amps, uh, and uh, I'm just telling you to let you know, don't worry about the labels. If labels were all correct, you wouldn't need Moot, and you wouldn't need me or anybody else. And another characteristic of these batteries is that because of the chemistry changes they've made and some of the physical changes, I'm told that they're safe to charge up to 4 amps. And we all know that if you charge batteries quickly, they're not going to last as long. It's going to degrade the chemistry inside. But as far as it being safe to charge at 4 amps, that's awesome. I've tested them at 2 amps because that's the limit of my charger and they charge just fine. I've had no problems whatsoever. Um, and they charge fast. And they haven't degraded yet. I suspect if I kept doing that, they wouldn't last as long. And maybe I'll own a bunch of these. That'd be great. So when I got the note that the Cloudy Vapor wanted me to review some batteries, at first I was a little bit like, hmm, I'm not sure if I can do that. But then I realized I'm a smart guy. I understand Ohm's Law. And I have all the way back to my liberal arts college science education. And all I've got to do is use my noggin. So here's what I did. I emailed Home Tech. Just clicked on contact us on their homepage, sent an email, got some batteries to review. Can you send me the tech specs? Absolutely. Within two days, the director, Ben Romalo, got back to me, sent me the PDFs, and we had a discussion going. And then I also went over to Electronic Cigarette Forum, and I looked up Mooch's test results just to get the actual numeric values of what these things physically test out at, because that's my weakest spot. I can't test that. Uh, and what I found out was that these all indeed uh, fall directly within where they should. Compared to the HG2s that we all know and love, the brown poopers, the home life batteries are completely equivalent to those. And the HE2s that we use in our mechs, these actually perform better than those, which I was very pleasantly surprised to hear. And so all that remains is to evaluate... Uh, the actual performance of, the, of these things on a day-to-day -day basis. And so for the third thing, what I did was I made a 0.2 build on my FODI right here, and then I stuck every battery I had inside here, reset the timer, put it on 50 watts, and I vaped it until the battery died. And then I wrote down the time. And I did that for every battery I own. Here's the list. And what I found out was that all of the batteries were collect correctly labeled as far as their mod goes. And these all lasted a little bit longer. And I mean, when I say these, I mean the home tech batteries lasted a little bit longer than all my batteries. So the question remains, why get these batteries? What is different about them? So if they measure to be just about the same as our current batteries that are our favorites for our mech mods and our and our 
regulated mods. And if the MOLA values are very similar, or even if a little bit better, uh, then why get these? And the short answer that I came up with is safety. These guys stress that they're trying to make a battery that operates within the normal tolerances that we're used to, performs a little bit better, and is just a simply safer battery because of kind of how the builds we're doing are these days. And one of the things that they've done is work on the actual housing of the battery. This little flat top and the, and the materials that are in here that make the connection to the actual cells is actually pretty complicated and has a lot of parts. And they've changed some of the metallurgy here, or at least some of the metals they used inside here. And they've also increased the nickel content at the inside, I believe is what I was told. And that changed the internal chemistry to lower the resistance and they did some other things. Now all of you guys that have in-depth technical questions, I want you to ask them in the chat and I want you to tune in on Saturday for Vaping Dawn to Dusk. I ask Benjamin Romalo to come talk to us. So we're going to ask them about these batteries, about the Hexome, about 26650s, about everything they're up to, and we're going to get the scoop on these things. Uh, and I'm relying on you guys to show up and ask more in-depth questions or even down here and I'll relay those. Uh, that's going to be a fun show. So getting back to it, um, without getting super technical, they change the content of the insides, they increase the resistance by doing chemistry in there, they change the physical outside, and that, they say, um, along with the performance characteristics, gives you a safer battery. And I'll tell you one thing that underscores this for me, and this is an unknown fact. LG has actually adopted this physical construction of the cap on this battery for the H series batteries and I'm not sure what other batteries for later this year. So homeworks, I'm sorry, home tech's work on the homework and home life batteries was so influential that LG actually adopted this for all their batteries and that underscores that they also believe that it's safer because they already have a battery that they think is safe and now LG thinks this is safer and so do I. So what do you get if you get these batteries? You spend a couple of bucks more per battery and you get a safer battery that works a little bit better than either an HE2 or works just exactly the same as your 25R in these guys, except that you can be assured, based on what these guys said, that they're going to be a safer investment. So if you do weird builds, you have less of a chance of hurting yourself. For a couple of bucks, that doesn't bother me too much, and they're still so much less expensive than retail. You can never spend as much money as you spend on retail anywhere else. It's insane. Uh, so for my money, 20 bucks for two of these, no problem. It's only a little bit more, and they work super great, and I haven't had any problems with it all. And so, you guys, I want all of you to know that I love all you fans, and that if you like these videos, make sure that you like and subscribe, and tell your friends and share them with them. Also, make sure that you look at my Instagram, which is Juicy Jones HQ, and you can find me on YouTube every Saturday morning on Vaping Dawn to Dust with my partner, Polish Vapes UK. We do a great interview show that's about how hard it is to quit smoking and how awesome all our gear is and how good our friends are. And on Tuesdays, I've started up Vape AM, which is just a morning show with me getting up, talking to you, calling friends, finding out what's on sale. Same stuff we all do every morning. So I want us to have a vape together. And I want you guys to be safe. I want to remind all you guys that I'm not an electrical engineer and you should never take anything anybody says about batteries for granted. You're all adults because this is a vaping show. So go and find out for yourself how things are before you build something dangerous and educate yourself. So I love you guys. I love vapors. Let's vape out.